Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a form on GetResponse. GetResponse is one of the most popular email marketing tool for beginners and one of the reasons why is because you can get started for completely free. All you'll need to do is enter your email address and tap on create free account and you don't need a credit card to sign up or anything like that. But before signing up, I would ask or appreciate it better yet if you use my link in the description to site get started. And also with GetResponse, you can do email marketing as I said earlier. You can use it to create a website and you can also use it to set up marketing automation. So once you are signed up with GetResponse, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And I want you to pay attention to the left hand menu options. For example, you can use GetResponse to create a newsletter and we'll be using it to create a form. You can also use it to create landing pages and also to create an autoresponder. But since we are going to be creating a form on this tutorial, let's tap on create form or pop up. Once you have done that, you are going to be redirected to a new page. Just give it a few seconds to load up. And from here, you will see the options how to display your message. You can display it in a pop-up. As you can see right here, trigger promo bars, sign up forms, download prompts. Or you can embed it in a page, place your sign up forms, banners, promo bars and more anywhere you want on your page. So you can select whichever one suits you. For this example, we will be selecting embed in a page. Then you're going to tap on next. Once you have tapped on next, you will be redirected to a new page on which you can choose a template that suits you. So you can see right here, we get response. There are numerous free templates that you can choose from. All you'll need to do is simply scroll down and from there you can select the template that you would like to use. So let's say for example, I would like to use this one right here. All you'll need to do is simply tap on use this template. But before doing that, you could tap on full preview to see how it looks. And this is how it looks at the moment. You can see right there. Then we'll tap on use template at the top of the page. Once you have tapped on use template, you will be redirected to this page and this is your editor page. So from here, you can make any changes you want. So let's say, for example, we would like to change the text. All you have to do is simply tap on the text. Then from there, if you would like to remove the text, let's say, for example, I would like to add simple answers right here. All I would have to do is simply type in simple answers. As you can see right there and from the right hand menu option if i would like to change the font style i can do that so let's say i want to use this font style instead all i would have to do is simply highlight the text then i could select the font style that i want to use and you can see that it changed right there and i can also change the color of the font by tapping on the color box then i could select the color that i want to use right here then simply tap on the color. Then you can see that the color has changed right there. And if you would like to change the background image, all you have to do is tap on the current image. So let's say I want to change the background image. I could tap on it. Then from there, you can see the image. I could simply tap on replace. Or if I would like to add a video, I could tap on video, then tap on add video. And it, or you could embed a video, for example, from YouTube or so on. Another thing, if you would like to add more text, you can do that. All you'll need to do is tap on the section that you'd like to add text. Let's say I would want a section of text right below here. I'll simply tap on the section right there. Then after you have done that, you're going to tap on the plus in the top right hand corner that says add elements. Then you could simply tap on the text box and you could drag and place the text right here. So all I would need to do is drag and place the text box right there. And you can see that a text box has now been added. And it is the same thing if you would like to add a video or if you would like to add a timer. 
let's say I want to add a timer right below the promo code. I could do that as you can see right there. A timer has now been added. And to edit the timer, all I would have to do is simply double tap on it. Then from the right hand menu option, I could set the countdown duration. So let's say it is for one day. I could simply do that right there. And if you want it to be a fixed date, you could do that as you can see right there. Once you're finished, all you'll need to do now, if you would like to add anything more by the way, all you'll have to do is tap on the plus again, right where you see elements. From there, you could add a promo code if you want, or if you would like to add a contact form, you can do that. All you have to do is simply tap on contact form. So let's say I just want to add, for example, right here, I could drag and place it. So you can see right there that a contact form has now been added. And you can also edit the contact form by simply tapping on it. After you have tapped on the contact form, you will see the menu option pop up on the right hand column and you can edit the fields. So if you would like to remove a field or if you would like to change a field, you can do that as you can see right there. And you can overall change the design by tapping on design right at the bottom right here. And you could change the design if you want. And if you would like to add a button, you can also do that. Once everything is to your liking, you can tap on thank you message at the top right there. And you can see how my thank you page look. And again, you can add elements to this thank you page if you want by tapping on the plus in the right hand corner. Then you could add any element you want. If you want to add social media or so on, you can do that. Once everything is finished, all you'll need to do now is to go on preview because I like to look at it before I go live. So you can see how it would look right there. This is the first page and this is how the thank you page will look. Once it is there like in all you'll need to do now is simply tap on next in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on next, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can enter your URL as you can see right here. So if you would like to enter your URL, you can do that. If you want to enter a specific page on your website that you would like to add it to, you can enter that specific page right here. And once you're finished, you can scroll down also and you can connect it right there. Or if you don't want to enter your URL and you want to do it another way by embedded in the form code, you can do that. All you'll need to do is tap on copy to clipboard. And then from there, you'll be able to add the form to your website, whether you're using WordPress or any other platform. And then you'll simply tap on save and publish or you could select save and finish. And that's basically it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. And by the way, we get response. All you have to do is tap in the top left hand corner right here. So you'll tap on the dots right here and you can see the different features that they offer. So if you would like to set up a conversion funnel, you can do that. As you can see right here, there are numerous options we get response. And thanks again for watching. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.